Poppy Playtime 3 and Catnap and a bunch of other monsters have invaded ARBs and I have downloaded all of them and it just gets crazier and crazier. This is the largest boxy boo that you can find in today's video. We're going to be checking out some of the most cursed creations from the Poppy Playtime universe that I could find. If you don't know, this is my big gigantic boxy boo that I made ages ago and in today's video, I, like I said, I've got some cursed things for you that I think you're going to like. Some brand new things maybe you've never seen before some crazy monsters i don't even know what to make of and uh, it should be a pretty entertaining video you don't want to miss it and then at the end of the video we're going to pit all of them against one another to see which one is the strongest can my big can you can you eat these guys or are you just poking him he's just poking him he doesn't actually uh can't actually open his mouth to eat him that's unfortunate let's start this video off strong i'm sure you've all heard of pj pugapillar but maybe you've never heard of his brother he's called fluffy neck and fluffy neck looks very similar to pj pugapillar although he's got these gigantic spiky wing things out here that i'm sure will be delightful to watch he does move you can't move <laughs> you too fat to move no there he goes he was just tricking him playing with he even looks like he's trying to fly but will they be able to actually take him out or will it be able to spike him he needs actually more spikes i think he's like maybe a baby version of this fluffy spiky dude although he's he is destroying quite a bit of them all i know is that this thing should be pretty fun to watch in the final battle because it always comes down to who's the best warrior and uh we've got some pretty good ones today oh he got three guys at once that's brutal a big tribe of giant babies <laughs> look, at the, <laughs> look at the babies okay we got a giant we got this guy we got these little guys you're gonna fight something that's uh pretty cursed. You might ask yourself what's worse than Boxy Boo. Oh, I don't know. Maybe Boxy Boo and Mommy Long Legs combined, but not only just those two, also a whole bunch of other ones. Look at this. So, uh, I don't know what's with the skeleton legs there, but he's got a Boxy Boo type of thing. Huggies here. It should be pretty good. Let's see what happens. And you know what? This mashup isn't even the best one. I got an even more insane one that looks even more crazy. And we've got more cursed things. You gotta, you gotta have cursed combat combination units because that makes it really fun all oh, this one's not that great of a fighter from the looks of things but then again these uh <laughs> giant babies are pretty good at what they do he is eliminating some of them though you want it cursed uh, i got it for you <laughs> look at this huggy look at this crazy thing this is way more cursed than the last one although it doesn't look like he's much different but he does have a couple things i think should be interesting to watch he's got a flamethrower i think on his kneecap down there and he could be just more powerful i'm not entirely sure he does have little spiky tentacle arm things that are hitting him but i, I don't know who's going to be the best fighter it's going to be interesting to find out of course it's important for us to show lunchbox burger boy over here <laughs> he might be one of the best be warriors because he's got all these little spiky tentacle finger things and so it could be pretty good he also kind of flies which is cool i just don't know how he's gonna do overall in the final battle could be pretty awesome but look at the design of this thing somebody actually made a real <laughs> he just got chucked in the air by goro oh no is he flying off no go back hold on before he dies we need to let's look at him real fast because he's actually really cool he's really well done he's got the whole burger face thing going on there little spiky cloud things he just looks amazing Okay, go ahead and go die. There he goes. You know what's better than a daddy long leg? <laughs> sea top daddy long leg. <laughs> Look at the sea top daddy long leg. Oh man. He's got spiky claw things too. I like daddy long legs. I also like mommy long legs. He could be a pretty good fighter at the end battle. I don't know how it's gonna go. Whoa! He's just flipping around rhinos like it's nothing. How can you not like something with the top hat? I know, curly Q mustache. <laughs> What in the world is with the mammoths? They're just spinning in circles and not even attacking Daddy Longleg. I am extremely... I don't even know what to make of this. 
Of course you can't have a Poppy Playtime video without also having Killy Willy be around here. Let's see. Wow, look at those spiky claws. Can he kill insects? Probably. They're pretty they're pretty small in the totem bowl. He looks extremely tall compared to the other ones. It is, it is gonna be a very interesting final battle. But look at Killy Willy. He's got lots of spikes. He could definitely do really well. Comment below what your favorite Poppy Playtime character is and which one you think is going to win the final battle. I know you've not seen all of them yet, but still comment. What's better than Huggy Wuggy and Killy Willy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe both of them combined into a Huggy Wuggy Killy Willy robot thing. Look at it. It's definitely robot looking. And I think he's going to be pretty powerful because he's got this laser. We got to get rid of it. Oh, look at his little weird tentacle arm things. Is he going to be... He just killed that dinosaur in one hit so he might be too powerful we might have to DQ him oh you know what actually he's not too powerful but he is a wonderful fighter why did he, why was he able to do that so quickly do you have spikes on his body he doesn't even have spikes on his body just on his little tentacle hand things so you can reach down and grab little things and bring it up to his big face hole ladies and gentlemen here we go with the final battle who is going to win i'm actually gonna say that the burger bow is gonna win but i could be wrong we got daddy long legs who you think it'd be him you think it'd be fluffy neck pj pogapillar's uh cousin over here will it be this mutant curse thing will it be killy willy or maybe the Huggy Butt 5,000, 9,000. Or will it be this guy, this cursed one? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm I'm going to say it's either going to be Burger Boy or maybe Killy Willy. Or unless one of them has too high of HP and we're going to have to DQ one of them. Dude, Fluffy Boy doesn't even move. He, he, you're too lazy. Who will be the first one to pop? That's the real question. Oh! It was Daddy Longlegs. Seat Top Daddy Longlegs died. He was the first one to go. It could have. Okay, I think the Robo Bot, Huggy Bot 5000, 9000 is pretty powerful. He, he, he might be definitely a extreme contender. What the heck? Why is he smoking over here? Oh, he's got the flamethrower on the kneecap. That's what. That's what's going on. Pause the game. We gotta, we gotta DQ somebody. We got to DQ this guy. He's too powerful. Okay, here we go. This dude, Fluffy Neck's gonna last to the end because he's not even moving. This is interesting. Oh man, we got the whole battle going on over here. Now, I still stand by my choice of Burger Boy. Although, I do wonder if this other curse unit might be too powerful too. I don't know, usually they make them too strong, so it's hard It's hard to know what's gonna happen. Dude, I'm so tired of Fluffy Boy just sitting over here. Guys, can you come over, can you go over there and get him, please? He's, this, well, I mean, it's just, it's a solid strategy. <gasps> Who went down? Oh, it's the Robo, it's the Huggy Bot. Oh, Fluffy Boy is over here. This could be interesting. Who, oh, is he, is he actually any good? Dude, I forgot the burger guy can fly. Lunchbox can fly. He's just cruising over top, but he's, now he's getting spiked. Wait, is he actually? He, he did get spiked. He's not really getting spiked by a ton of... <gasps> he wasn't getting spiked by a ton of them. He was only getting spiked by like one, but he's got all those tentacle things. Look at He's carrying his corpse on his back. You're... you're geez. He's got the trophy and everything. Whoa. This battle is actually incredibly close in terms of health. It could go... Anyway, right now, kind of sick, twisted game are you guys playing? Just drop the corpse already. They're just carrying it around with them. <gasps> oh, the other cursed mutant one popped. Okay, now it's just Burger Boy versus Kelly Willy. Now that I see the two of them together, I think I made the wrong choice. I think Kelly Willy might be the better of the fighter. He's just dominating him. Look at this. Pushing him all over. He's got huge spike claws, so his his reach is better. Like basically gets the spikes in before Burger Boy can. It's a uh, whoa! I thought I saw, thought someone was about to die. It's just a corpse, I think, and or his little tentacle fingers, maybe. Oh no! It was just pathetic. He was getting destroyed. Poppy Playtime Chapter Three is here, and so is Catnap. And today we're gonna find out just how terrifying it is. I'm sure you've all seen huggy wuggy but i guarantee you you probably have never seen him quite like this oh <laughs> 
This is Huggy Wuggy Final Phase 4. As you can see, he has been completely mutated beyond all recognition. And he literally can move. Oh my, he's like a giant snowplow of doom. He doesn't even use his face? You have a giant face full of teeth. Use your face, please. Don't, no. No, this is not how it should be. Just a bunch of weird random hands smacking everybody. You need to actually like ram. They should have put this thing on like the head of a vehicle or something. See something a little bit more aggressive might do it. Jump up in there. Jump up in there. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he literally missed the, oh, the entire thing. He missed all the dinosaurs. Surely this can't be missed. No, no, yeah, he got some, <laughs> oh yeah, that yeah, brontosaurus got wrecked right in the face. Well, uh, final phase four, Huggy Wuggy is a little uncontrollable. Maybe we should look at some other poppy playtime stuff. Here is one poppy playtime creature that is probably the most terrifying out of all of them to me. And that's Killy Willy. Killy Willy is on a whole other level. And what the? Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at these fingers and everything. Oh, it's just brutally wrong on so many levels. He's just excited. He's jumping around trying to get into the action. Oh, his little gangly fingers are latching onto people and flinging them around and looking all weird. He's got eyeballs on his hands. His mouth it doesn't eat anybody, but he sure as heck flings things with his hands that's nice oh 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 goros and goros and he's got the like the chest nab nab looking thing he did it first right they did it first in in poppy playtime then nab nab came along look at all killy willy ish only a little you know like a spider nab nab's like a cross between killy willy and mommy long legs kind of not really but you get it speaking of mommy long legs this might be like the derpiest one but also looks really good. There's one that actually has really long legs and it's kind of crazy, but it doesn't really move that much. This one does move and uh, likes to attack defenseless uh, people. But man, oh man, look, she's got the whole big thorax booty thing going on over here. She, she can she can move, let me tell you. Look at her go, there she goes. With her nice little spiky fingers, picking people up to eat them. Do they actually eat them? I don't even know. They're just like doing it for fun. They're a bunch of psychopathic creatures. Then we have the classic duo themselves. Huggy Wuggy. Oh yeah. And Kissy Missy. Look, she's a lot smaller. Does she actually... Can you actually attack people? Do you have... Do you have like... Uh, she got spikes in her eyeballs, but does she have uh, anything that can take them out? Uh, obviously Huggy Wuggy does have some stuff. And he's looking pretty great there. So let's... Watch them as they both come in here and attack some hippos. <laughs> I don't know. I always like the hippos and it's just so ridiculous to watch that it makes total sense. And, you know, they went to the zoo together and then the hippo started to attack them. And so they had to take it out on the hippos. First of all, no zoo in the world has this many hippos. <laughs> Secondly, with Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy, they're on a date. They didn't do that. Maybe, maybe they wouldn't go to a zoo, I'll tell you that much. They maybe go to a shopping mall for specific reasons. Giant pretzels. Kissy Missy likes giant pretzels. That's why. Don't, jeez, what were you thinking? I think what we'll do, too, at the end is we, we need to see, you know, which one is the strongest. And so we got to put the new catnap against all this stuff and see if catnap is able to run, run. <laughs> they stepped on him. Oh, that's just wrong. I was gonna say, I don't even know if this thing works. And then I saw it move. And uh, needless to say, it does. I'm a little concerned because it might fly off the map. PJ Pugapillar. <laughs> Look at him. Here we are. Go all crazy looking. He's got a nice little body and everything. This is how he moves. He literally can fly. So there's that. But does he actually attack them? Oh, he's somehow destroying them. I don't know what's happening. Lag. I don't know how he's attacking them, but clearly, I mean, maybe he's just violently whipping his body back and forth. You know, doing the nay nay. <laughs> this PJ Pugapillar body. Oh, uh, I don't know why I even said that. Well, when, how old is that thing? Ow. That's a long time ago. It probably shows, like, some of my age, maybe. Does it? I, I don't even know if you know how old I am. I think some people think I'm like a teenager, but I'm not. 
I'm older than that. PJ Pugapillar just destroyed everybody. I think probably my favorite Poppy Playtime creature is Boxy Boo. Boxy Boo, just because it's so cool. So cool. Look at it. So yeah, Nick. Look at Boxy Boo. About to eat everybody over here. Don't mess with him. He's dangerous. I know it's not, you know, I know it's obviously from the multiplayer game, but, you know, same, same thing. The way it works. It's, it's in the universe. Oh my. Dude, can they, are they actually pushing it back? Get in there, Boxy Boo. You're not supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be attacking it. Oh, dude. He just, he just ate that guy. Is he in his mouth still? Oh, I totally missed it. You need to get over there and eat somebody else, okay? Not that far. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get him. Get them all. Eat them all. Yeah. Yeah. Boxy Boo taking it to him. He, no, yeah, he totally got that guy we saw. He ate him. He ate him for breakfast, too, with a little bit of maple syrup on it. You can't have Boxy Boo without Lunchbox. Burger Boo! Burger Boy, Boo Boo. Burger -de Boo. Burger -de Boo over here is about to <laughs> take him all to lunch. Oh, yeah. Burger Boo. I like Burger, the Burger Boy. Lunchbox. He's pretty cool. He's, uh, you know, a hamburger. Who doesn't like hamburgers? Who... There are people who don't like hamburgers, which is, I guess people don't like cows though, but it's just amazing to me. How can you not like hamburgers? Some burger, some cheese, some mayonnaise or barbecue sauce, bacon. Then you, you know, then you pack it up in a lunchbox. First of all, who's taking a burger in a lunchbox to school? <laughs> who's doing that? Nobody does that. That's crazy. You don't take burgers to school with you. What are you eating it cold? That's gross. Before we check out the regular catnap, we have the monster catnap. <laughs> this thing is a giant. It's like uh, it's like Jumbo Josh, but catnap form. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it, kind of, it looks like a cat, kind of. It's just a gigantic purple monster. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, he's got the little, you know, the little moon thing hanging from his chest and everything, and clearly able to just completely stomp everybody out. He's way too powerful. His arms are too long to actually move and attack. He just kind of slides them across the ground, eventually destroying people. Barely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Big old nice group of them getting flung across the map. Beautiful. Beautiful to see. Good job, monster catnap. I actually kind of like this. Thing. Here we go. The moment you've all been waiting for is catnap. Oh, man. This thing looks awesome. I like this thing a lot. I, the tail's kind of weird. But the face, look at that. The face is perfect. And then the like the shoulders and everything. Man, oh, look at it. even got like ridge spines on the back going up. Man, the detail. The level of quality, oh my gosh, it's so fast! Oh my, hey, somebody's on a whole other level over here. That's, that's a very fast moving cat, let me tell you. Oh, oh, it's getting bludgeoned. But it, it, there's no way. There's no way, look at him throwing people. There's no way this thing can, this is gonna win the, the battle royale. This is gonna be the one that wins. Nothing's gonna stand in its way. And speaking of battle royale, now is the time. I'm a little concerned about PJ Pugapillar, so I took him out, and instead of him, I put in the Boogie Bat, <laughs> which I don't have any confidence in whatsoever. But let me know who you think's gonna win it, or who is your favorite, okay? We got Catnap, Boxy Boo, Huggy Wuggy, Kissy Missy, Mama Long Lows and Burger Boo and then Boogie Bot. Obviously, I don't know. I don't think so. And look at Catnap is going right for Boogie Bot. It's all over, Boogie. Oh, that's a three. Oh, he instantly died. How does he instantly go down? He's not even strong enough to last two seconds. There goes a Burger Boy. Lunchbox is down, Catnap. Dude, Catnap's on a whole other level. Then over here, we got Boxy Boo, Kissy, and Huggy all fighting each other. Oh, it's not looking good for Boxy. They're teaming up on him. Although, Boxy is made of, like, nothing but metal. And Huggy and Kissy definitely have, like, fleshy parts. So, I don't know who's going to win. Oh, no. A level, le lover's quarrel. Uh, Kissy Missy goes down. What a sad day. Look at her lifeless body just over here. She's nothing but feathers now. Boxy and Huggy. Catnap. 
versus Mommy Long Legs. I don't know who's gonna win. Uh oh, things have changed. Huggy went flying. Boxy's in the mix. Now it's a four-way battle. Now we'll see what happens. This is this is what I'm talking about. Oh, it looks like Catnap's fighting Huggy for the title of the the main thing. He's his hand is coming out of his mouth. What is even occur how is this even happening? What's even occurring? How does that hand Oh, Huggy goes down. Looks like we have a new main character in the ploppy plate ploppy ploppy plop your booty down ploppy <laughs> i said it again poppy playtime universe you gonna plop your butt down and watch this battle boxy boo goes down oh get your speaking of ploppy get your ploppy out of my face two long armed gangly creatures the only problem is mommy long legs is all metal what is he? What's he even? Atta he's attacking the legs. Catnap knows the weakness. He's going for the legs. It's been a few minutes and the battle rages on. I, I don't want to even look at the health because I want to be absolutely surprised. I believe in Catnap. I believe Catnap will be victorious and the new ultimate creature in the Poppy Playtime universe. I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. It's been like 10. Oh. <gasps> No way. Well, I'm glad I started recording. Here is Killy Willy. Look at him terrifying those gigantic teeth. He has these sharp, crazy looking claw things. And just to show you how good he actually is, we're going to have him fight off against this big army. This will give you an idea of how terrifying this thing is and how much of a formidable foe he'll be against some of these other units. And the question is, can he defeat all of the other poppy playtime characters and not only that but we have a special special monster that will make an appearance at the end of the video that perhaps oh, you might have nightmares about it let's just say that oh look at him whipping him around <laughs> this is like a weird lasso that just latches on to them and then just flings them all over the place we only got them all. Yep, that's terrifying. Oh, look, and now he's moonwalking. <laughs> First up to battle Killy Willy is Huggy Wuggy himself. He is quite equipped. But the question is, will he win? Someone has bigger claws than the other. I'm not too sure. Oh, they've made impact. Huggy Wuggy is way taller than Killy Willy. Just means he's a bigger target for Killy Willy to actually attack. Things are getting weird with Killy Willy stuff here. They're just kind of latching on and then freaking out like that. I feel like a lot of the units in this game, especially the ones from Poppy Playtime, are like, hey, which one can give you nightmares quicker? Killy Willy or Huggy Wuggy? I mean, look, this is this nightmare. This nightmare level stuff over here. This battle has been raging for a while, and they are getting more intense as time goes on. Killy Willy is starting to be a little desperate here, grabbing on tightly, flying through the air even. This, this battle is heating up. Luckily for us, we can check on how much health is left after five minutes of battling. And oh, Huggy Wuggy is almost dead. Killy Willy is dominating. He, he has some health taken off too, but Killy Willy is going to wind up winning this battle for sure. Oh, and there it is. Huggy Wuggy goes down. Killy Willy remains alive to fight the next Poppy Playtime mascot monster crazy nightmare thing. Huggy Wuggy liked to hug. He can't anymore because he's dead. He liked to hug. Kissy Missy likes to kiss and she's gonna destroy you, Killy Willy. At least I think so. We'll find out what she got. She's just got some fists. That's not looking good. You can't come fight a guy with giant tentacle claw hands with just fists, Kissy Missy. Oh, she's she's trying though. She Oh no! She's already died. That was about 30 seconds. Oh, Kissy Missy. You wanted vengeance for Huggy Wuggy, but you definitely didn't get it. <laughs> oh no, he's way stronger than I thought. I'm so sorry, Kissy Missy. Don't be deceived by this little tiny thing's size. She's a terrifying foe, a great fighter. And not only that, she has a special ability, which we'll talk about here in a second. But let's watch as she stretch her way into battle. 
to fight against Killy Willy, who just tried to step on her. Oh, no, he's got her by the head. Oh, no, she's gone already. He grabbed her by the head, picked her up, and flung her around. But wait, something's happening. She was just the first iteration of the toy. There were many more. There is a whole army of Poppy Playtime, and they're going to fight off against Killy Willy. She was the weakest of them. And now there are many more. Oh no, look at this video. It's gonna. I oh, don't. I hope this video doesn't give you nightmares and terrify you. Oh, I don't even know. Even with all of these poppies, I, I don't think they're gonna win. They're not even like fighting, they're like kind of hanging back. Like, I don't know. I'm not too sure what they're doing. And Kelly Willy is just freaking out with his little tentacle hand things. Oh, he grabbed like two or three of them at one time. This is not looking good for Poppy Playtime. Turns out that uh, the corruption, corrupted toy Kelly Willy is a little bit more dangerous than we originally thought. We might have to fight corruption with corruption. He has destroyed every single one of the Poppy Playtime dolls. Killy Willy fights off against his most fearsome foe yet. Another corrupted unit, just like him, but a little different. This is Yummy Tummy, <laughs> uh, and he's covered in spikes. This battle might go a little differently. The size difference is huge. Yummy Tummy is blazingly fast, and he just ran in there and spiked up Killy Willy so quick. He's so large that he's actually missing a lot of his hits on Killy Willy, while Killy Willy is sinking in all of his little tentacle things into his arms and stuff. I am sitting here saying the names of everything, and realized I'm saying I said Killy Willy and Huggy Wuggy which wound up saying Killy Wiggy Killy Wiggy over here Killy Willy destroyed that thing that battle did not last as long as I thought it was going to which I'm assuming means yep he barely took any damage but the real question is what happens when Killy Willy faces off against the final form version of Huggy Wuggy so far up until this point, Killy Willy has managed to defeat everybody, but Huggy Wuggy has evolved. He died but was reborn into this massive final phase evolution of Huggy Wuggy. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Phase 4, Huggy Wuggy Nightmare. Let's see what happens here. Oh, he's going in. Oh, he's just been spiked up a whole bunch. Can Killy Willy defeat even the final form of this thing? I'm going to say no. That's my guess, at least. But then again, you never know with this game how things might actually turn out. Oh, he just threw him off the edge. He threw him straight over the level. No way. He flung him into the air. And he got and he destroyed Kelly Willy. After the final phase of Huggy Wuggy defeated Kelly Willy just now, we thought it was all over. But turns out that there was a small piece of Killy Willy that remained on the battlefield. And it transformed and evolved into a terrifying creature. The Killy Willy Spider. Look at it. It's terrifying. It's this thing is epic. Let's see what happens. Final phase versus final phase. I'm going to assume that Huggy Wuggy may win this battle, but then again, I have literally no idea at this point. Oh, there's some chaos going on in there. Lots of harpoons and spikes and tentacles attacking like crazy. Who will win? Oh, Huggy Wuggy's health is getting taken down ever so slightly. Huggy Wuggy is trying desperately to hit the source of the spider's power, but he just can't get to it because the tentacles are blocking his way. Every single time that he swings and he gets so close, he misses ever so slightly. He doesn't actually do any damage to it. And just like that, as time goes by, Huggy Wuggy is defeated. And the Killy Willy spider remains in his victorious. Just because I thought it would be terrifying and probably really funny at the same time, I wanted to see what would happen if you put a whole bunch of poppies down and watched as the Killy Willy spider had a field day 
Uh, spiking all of them. Ah, the tentacles. Oh no. Instantly destroyed. Ew, look at it. It can't even. It's so many tentacles. You can't even get two feet without getting destroyed. Oh man. He's just swinging and pieces are going flying everywhere. That poppy's almost made it. Oh, the guys, that was the furthest one. This one's gonna get there. Get there, poppy. Oh, it just spiked it in the air. Well, I think it's safe to say that the Killy Willy spider is a formidable foe and that there's not really anybody capable of defeating it. This poppy's trying to sneak attack over here from the back. Doesn't really matter though, cause uh, can't get by the tentacles. And there's the one's gonna get her. Here it comes. Ready? And oh, she's getting so up oh, there. Went. <laughs> she got so close, and then it was all over. It's just a nice, ordinary day here in this wonderful village. People on their way to work. Beautiful women what? sitting here working in their gardens. Little children admiring the petting zoo. But oh man, down the street, some kind of terrifying monsters attacking. It's Boxy Boo from Project Playtime. He is. Destroying all of the townsfolk. No one is safe from his terrifying attacks. Oh no, he just straight up destroyed that whole car. Boxy Boo is the new monster from Project Playtime. But guess what? There are others. And today, Boxy Boo is going to be fighting off against other Project Playtime Boxy Boo nightmares to prove who is the strongest and best of them all. Listen, you can kill me, just don't kill my carrots. So this was like the first Boxy Boo this game saw, and man, oh man, the, the design of it is absolutely amazing. But guess what? There's actually a whole bunch of them, and we have to find out which one is the best. Comment in the comment section below what you think of Boxy Boo, and if you think there are going to be even more hidden nightmare monsters in the game. Look at this. I have a whole bunch of them, but which one is the best? Okay, here's the next one, and look at this. It's kind of got like a back rooms type of feel to it with the little metal bars going around. This one doesn't seem to be quite as equipped as the other one does. And he also doesn't really have like the whole Jack in the Box look going for him but maybe he'll actually be pretty terrifying he doesn't have claws in his hands instead he's got these little tiny like you know those little I don't know what you want to call them mechanical spiky tentacles serpent type of things that just cause all kinds of uh, mayhem when things get close to him he was able to take out this army with relative ease at the end we'll take all seven of them and fight them against one another and see who comes out victorious now here's the this one, which this one looks abs- I like the look of this one. He's got furry claws, which he has in the trailer. He's kind of furry looking. And then he has like a really awesome looking head that I think opens up, which is probably going to be better than the other one. This one, actually, I like, I like this one better than- than the other one the first one you guys at the end will you also comment and tell me which one looks the best okay like the closest representation to what the trailer showed his mouth does open slightly which is a little bit better than the other one he has the whole jack in the boxing this thing spins Ooh, that's like a big improvement upon the first one for sure yo the fact that this thing spins is really cool that gives a whole new look i think this one is the closer representation goodbye polar bear meet your doom in the abyss below what's down there by the way hades and it's reserved for polar bears this one seems a little crazy looking but here's the oh look at that star here's the thing with this one he's got these big gigantic tentacle things and a huge fist so he might actually turn out to be the strongest maybe i don't know his head also is on one of those things does his mouth open no idea he doesn't look Look nearly as convincing as the other ones. He's gonna attack this fort and destroy all these soldiers. Look at his head. is It's definitely longer and kind of gives the whole feel of like the extendable thing coming up out of the Jack in the Box a little bit more than the other ones do. But it doesn't look quite the same. He is definitely terrifying and attacking them quite well what is he doing stop moonwalking and get to work he's having a hard time going up this little tiny hill you can't go up this little hill man oh you know what did we actually see it have legs in the 
in the trailer? I don't think we did. So that's an interesting question. Does it actually walk around? Okay, this next one is uh, a little rigid looking, if you know what I mean. He definitely has some big giant claws though. What the crap? These are the biggest claws I've ever seen. His little stumpy legs. He's got a big, I don't even know. This thing, this one is a little, okay, maybe it'll win the battle, but it definitely ranks the lowest in terms of looks. So actually, no, that's not true. This one <laughs> ranks the lowest. Even though he's crazy looking, he doesn't really look too much like Boxy Boo at all. Here's a little arm me of almost naked babies <laughs> little hill giant babies coming in here against this this boxy boo so this one has got this one's kind of interesting looking he's he definitely has the look to it but everything's kind of like accentuated like he's got gigantic feet stubby little arms and stuff he does have a crank but the crank is ginormous and his head moves which is cool but it does it and it does it open i think his mouth opens too it does sweet so i think this one you know it's it'll be interesting to see who the overall winner turns out to be welcome to the simulation <laughs> we're in the matrix you guys in the loading room get your weapons and stuff oh because this one's hairy and his crank moves okay cool well the crank gets stuck on his arms but it's moving and he's hairy which is a good representation of the trailer so maybe you guys tell me which one looks the best or which one re is representative of the trailer the most i like this thing's mouth he's eating it better and he's got gigantic eyes i don't know which one i like more they're all so cool except for that one now we find out who is the best okay guys this is the original one this is number one okay so you tell me in the comments below one through seven which one you like the most for looks as well as which one you think will win this is number one this is number two the back rooms looking thing this is number three which is Got the crank that works pretty well, and he's hairy. So he, I don't know which one I like more, this one or the original one. This is number four, who's got the extendable thing kind of going for him. So he he's representative of that aspect. Number five, the uh, blocky one. Number six, the hairy and you know the crank works number six it's got the top thing i mean this one's pretty good representation and then number seven which also has a crank that works this one hmm i don't know which one i like more this one might be my favorite one right here let's okay let's see who wins one through seven comment below i have no idea this is like a bunch of clones oh no that blocky one went down instantaneously and if there's one that's just like super overpowered obviously we'll dq that thing uh what i don't know which did number one just die no no because i'm number one so uh, not, number one did not die yet number one i think is this one right here so that one went down oh no the big one might win the back rooms one. Okay, number one, it's still alive. Number one, I'm still alive. Oh, the hairy one's down. Number seven, I think. There he goes. This one's number one right here. This is number one. It's okay. The big one died. Sweet. It's the back rooms one versus number one. This is crazy. I did not expect this. I thought that big one was gonna win with the with the huge arms and face. I thought for sure that one would be victorious. It's actually kind of crazy that they're destroying. No. The backroom one won. Oh no! I I didn't want no okay, and it lost health too, so okay. Let's look at that. Let's look at the stats and see what they are. We gotta find out. Okay, 40 420,000. That's not too bad. Backrooms one. Oh, it only has 186. Well, okay, pretty legit. 186, that one's got 70. This one had 72 okay so that's not nearly the highest this one's a baby ah it's got no stats uh 70 they're all 70 000. that's kind of interesting so the number one number one wait no is that number one that's not number one that's number that's number seven this is number one i don't remember which one's which which one moves that's how we can tell number one ha doesn't have a crank that moves this one i think is number one yeah this one doesn't move so this one right here i think this one's no this crank doesn't move either 
I don't know. I like number one still. That's still my favorite. But you guys tell me which one do you th which one do you like the most? And then did you think that the backrooms one was gonna win, or did you think one of the other ones was gonna win? Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I uh, hope you guys en are enjoying the uh, the content, and uh, hope you're excited. Oh, I died right away that time. Today we ask a very important question: Who would win in a battle of the epics? On on one side we have the poppy playtime friends and on the other side we have the rainbow friends the crawlers lavender versus mommy long legs i don't know if we're gonna be even able to tell who's winning this fight it's just a massive group of tentacles flinging all over the place oh no lavender goes down mommy long legs just obliterated it but what if we go with the epic flying purple will the results be any different oh no it's not mommy long legs just shredding purple oh man oh yeah here we go we've got green facing off against kissy missy i've got a feeling that green is gonna win this battle she might look absolutely cute and innocent but don't let it fool you the good thing about green is that he's got these tentacle like arms Arms just wrap around his opponents, not letting it leave, and then it also has big, gigantic speck of clothes. Oh, just as I thought, Green just did like a victory jump. Just as I thought, <laughs> Green has won and defeated Kissy Missy. Normally, I would be very terrified of putting anything against such a fearsome looking deadly opponent. However, while Killy Willy looks menacing, we have our own black creature. It's the Forgotten Black. This thing is a nightmare. And we're going to see what happens here, giving Killy Willy a run for its money. Now, Forgotten Black has one epic thing that it likes to do, and that's throw things around. So far, in every single battle that we put Forgotten Black in, he has come out as the victor over everyone else. But the question is today, can he claim the top spot as the ultimate black monster? Comment in the comment section below, what do you like more, Poppy Playtime stuff or Rainbow Friends? This battle has been raging for a while and I so want to hit the health button to see who wins, but I want to be surprised because I have have to imagine that Forgotten Black is going to win this battle. <gasps> What the heck? No way! I did not see that coming! Forgotten Black has been defeated! Are you serious? Killy Willy won? Oh my! And he barely took any health! This is crazy! This is it! The moment you've been waiting for! Huggy Wuggy versus Blue! Who will win? Oh no! Huggy Wuggy has massive, massive claws! And Blue has little tiny baby ones! Clearly there's a big size difference here and i have no idea if blue's gonna be able to actually beat him you guys comment below who do you think is gonna be the best blue monster just from the sheer look of things i have to imagine huggy buggy is gonna win this battle i don't even know if blue's even landed a hit yet this battle has been going on for like 10 minutes i have no idea who the victor's gonna be i want to look at the health bar but what's oh no Jeez, I want to look at the health bar when I want to be surprised. Oh, no, you didn't even take any damage. But you know what that means? Big old blue is a chunky, healthy boy, and he can survive for a long time. Those were not at all the results that I expected, but something tells me that it might start to go in favor of the rainbow friends. For you see, there are way more of them than there are of the Poppy Playtime crew. We've got all sorts of rainbow friends over here, but let's see if even with numbers, they can defeat the Poppy Playtime creatures. That is, if my computer can actually handle it. I don't know, Yellow is just hanging out over there on its own. What are you doing over here? Oh no, something peak has died. I think it's Lavender. I think Lavender has already died. It's really hard to tell what's actually happening here. It's just one big giant mess of death. I got yellow in the battle. At least I just chucked him across the map, but he's still 
still down on the ground. Oh no! Looks like Killy Willy just destroyed Blue. He's now going for little. Oh, a little orange goes down. Yes, Yellow is finally in the battle. Let's see if he can actually do something. I feel like <laughs> he just died. He literally lasted a minute. I feel like the intensity level of the battle just shot up tenfold. All that's left on the Rainbow Friends side. Oh, green's left. Green, black, and red are the only ones left. This is a mutated red. Oh, no. Green goes down. No, red goes down. It's now all of them versus black. I think we did lose. Okay, Kissy Missy did die. That's a good thing, at least. She would, she would, she died. Clearly. The poppy playtime creatures are better equipped. They don't actually have too much more HP than the other ones either. They're just dragging around Red's dead body. Get out of here. No, forgotten black goes down. Let's look at their house. Mommy long legs. That one actually almost died. And then these two barely took any damage. Jeez. Catnap might be one of the creepiest things that we've seen in this game. But guess what? There's even scarier ones and ones that are even more cursed. And today, we find them all. So when you think of catnap, he looks like a cat, right? Yeah, he does. But not every catnap looks like a cat. Especially this one. What the heck is this? <laughs> I was gonna say this one, but we might as well start with one of the most cursed looking ones you could possibly find. I don't know what on earth would make anyone think that this is catnap, but somebody thinks it is. And <laughs> I can't tell if it's supposed to be like a gag or if it's a real like unit that someone made and then said, yeah, that, yeah. That, that right here, this looks just like catnap. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a good episode, I think. Whoa, this one looks really cool. Look, it's got like fur all over it. And then his feet, look at his feet are like flat looking. Oh, this is creepy looking. I, I mean, definitely very catnappish. If that's a word. Oh, look at how it moves. Oh, that is freaking me out. Whoa, it is very fast and very violent. Wow. This is a good catnap right here. Yeah, the red stuff coming out of its mouth. Oh, okay, well, it's, it's a little too gangly. Its arms are a little too long to actually, like, hit them. They don't bend that well. They just kind of fling around and smack me in the face. How does it fare against a bunch of T-Rexes? This has to, like not be so dude is that a flamethrower apparently there's a flamethrower inside its mouth and we didn't get to witness that last time oh my goodness he just obliterated these things in like two seconds what the heck catnap you scratching your butt oh yeah if you're new to the channel definitely make sure to like and subscribe wait this is the first catnap that we that literally was on arbs when it like first came out and it's probably the best catnap it's very very well built very gangly very long it's a little rigid you know a little metal but i mean the face is perfect Perfect in schlag and uh woo. <laughs> goodbye buddy see you see you next time he's that guy is gone so i mean clearly a very uh, violent creature capable and able to destroy everything very fast moving because spiky claws are able to destroy people in a matter of seconds so it's a really good catnap look at him he even got like the little uh, little leash moon thing okay not quite sure what's going on here but here's another cat nap i haven't started it yet because he was doing this which i think he's stuck in the ground let's start him yeah there he goes he popped up oh my gosh this catnap's got laser beams in his mouth holes get rid of that there we go and pops on up he's got weird creepy legs he flies what exactly is happening with this one his big old long gangly arms uh, I just needed to get a nice perspective, zoom out a little bit. This is... Okay. This is... De <laughs> this is definitely cursed. So what I don't understand is when people make, like, units, why do they make them the way that they do? 
Why did you put this little ball thing on her hair? I mean, either ca oh, oh catnap pregnant. This is a pregnant catnap that can fly. He's going to poop out baby soon. That's not how it happens. It's not really what occurs. But I mean, for you adults, you know what's happening. For you kids, you probably that is not what happens. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. Look, it can't even. It doesn't even work. It's just slapping his. They're just slapping his belly over and over again. I mean, occasionally a little claw might sink in or something, but this is like the worst unit in terms of fighting capabilities ever. And it, it's more like a bug than a cat. Like, look at this weird back tail thing. I got some cursed ones and I got some other awesome ones. This is the monster cat app, which I did we see this one last time. You might have seen this one. The very, I think this was the only other unit that was actually out until he made this gigantic monster cat app that's clearly capable of destroying hippos. Like, it's nothing. Just put him in a blender and eat, eat him up. Eat some hippo juices. Make a hippo smoothie, why don't you? Sometimes I don't even know how the things come into my mind but they do and it's okay we we we're just gonna keep going with things i'm not losing my mind or anything i also realize its tail is coming out the middle of its back <laughs> it's not even like on his butt she's like right up there right in the middle of his back like i don't know like a weird tumorous growth oh he's going over see ya well, piggy, piggy, piggies, you're about to meet your demise because we've got a different style of catnap and it's terrifying. What the heck is that? Look at this crazy thing. Uh, oh man, this is so cool. Look at that. Look at that mouth is perfect. Oh, this is just wrong on every level. Big old white silvery catnap of doom gonna eat himself some pigs look at how it moves well, i think what's creepy to me is not so much the design but just how they move sometimes because you know the game's ragdoll physics based and so things just get weird also we gotta put all these against each other at the end of the video i don't know if i said that but we gotta find out which catnap's the best catnap okay shield your eyes you're in for a treat we got the most cursed catnap and you can possibly find oh let me just kind of go like this all right here oh i'm underneath them okay let's start in the back shall we oh yeah it was looking good already right <laughs> oh, no. oh no look at that oh what in the world i can't even call this a cat oh look at how it moves oh what the heck why is it doing that Oh, look at that face. Look at half of his, yo, know, half of his face. He died instantly. That's, that makes total sense. Dude, look at half of his face isn't attached. His one ear is attached to the back of his body. Watch. <laughs> look at that back. Look at that part moving. Oh, no. That is perfect in every way. I'm hoping that I saved the best for last. This one is nightmare catnap and it is on a whole other level oh my gosh look at it oh it's so cool looking and watch how it moves ready oh yeah look at it moving oh what the heck my ear hole is burning it's my I can't hear out of my left ear anymore I, I keep one off just for this purpose in case if uh, I go death playing one game, you know, because of a game, only one ear goes out. Not all of them. It is... Uh, look at how it's moving. It's kind of weird. Why does it have... Hold on a second. Why does it have these things on the side? What is this for? Stabilization? Like, let me get rid of all this. I can't even see. Here we go. Now move. You move now? What the heck? It moves just fine! I mean... What was that? What was that noise? Like music just played or something? The heck! Oh my! Look at all those flamethrowers. You do not need those. We don't need those. I'm gonna get rid of these little light balls in here. We don't need it. We don't need any light balls either. Oh, we just need a plain old ordinary nightmare catnap. Oh! Oh! Look at it moving. That's brutal, gross looking. I mean, the other one's kind of cooler because it has more of like a, you know, the, the weird face and stuff, but I guess this is pretty cool. Wow, that's weird. Okay, well, let's put them all against each other and find out which one is the best one. So it's a gamble to try to figure out which one's going to be the best one. But I think for this, I'm going to say that the first one is going to be the best one. 
Okay, we're gonna put in this. Oh gosh, no, the cursed one is so wrong. That thing, this thing is so wrong. Why, why would anyone say that's catnap? That's so crazy. Uh, okay, we got I saved the one catnap. Where is he? I saved the one catnap in here, so we could easily find him. There it is. It got weird on it. There, okay, you're in here. Okay, we got that one now. We might have to choose. Okay, we're gonna definitely put this one in. We gotta find out which of these two is the best. I'm gonna put him over here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we gotta get dirt. No, we can't have the the dirt boy. It's not gonna work. The dirt boy, the dirt catnap's gonna instantly die. Do I have another one I could use? I don't even know. Yeah, no, this one, the monster catnap. Perfect. Seven. Can't use the derp one. It's gonna die. It breaks too easily. Here we go. Oh, wait, we got a laser. I gotta get rid of the laser. Yeah, now it should work. Guys, comment below which one you think is gonna win. I really hope it's not this thing. <laughs> I really... Whoa, that catnap came out of nowhere. I, yeah, I really hope it's not the weird one. I hope it's either the furry catnap or this original catnap or the white one. I I don't know. Who's going to... Somebody have a flamethrower. Did you hear a flamethrower? What the heck? There goes the... the oh, that one's flying? You better come back down. Can't be you can't be flying around. Yo, what the heck? Oh yeah, this cat have lost its legs. I'm like, wait, what's going on for a second? Because it's that metal base body thing, and the legs can pop off. The spider version. Wow, I expected someone to be dead already, and no one's dead yet. Oh no, we have a problem. This uh, this furry cat has got a flamethrower in his face. Oh, there we go. The first one to actually go down was the one with the flamethrower. I I uh, swapped it out, and now it's dead. So that's interesting. Who's gonna who's going next? This thing is starting to lose legs again. It's getting all weird and wonky. Looks like we got the first and the big white one against each other. Oh man. It's gonna be hard to figure out a thumbnail for this video. Oh <gasps> there it is. That one just popped. The white one. Oh, okay. Interesting. Here comes look at him. Look at him move. He's crazy. He's out for vengeance. Dude, that freaking weird one better not win. That's all I gotta say. That freaking weird one wins. I'm gonna lose it. These two are fighting over here. I don't know what's gonna happen here. The flying one's probably gonna win because it's flying. Oh, oh no! The f the main one lost. No, we have a disqualification. This one has nine, 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 nine stats. You are not allowed to be. Can't, we can't have that. We gotta redo it. All right, we're back to the point where my my thought one died. That oh, that one's done. Okay. I don't like that these are the options. <laughs> At least we do have one of the, uh, the we're the free guy. Dude, who's got a flamethrower? You still have a flamethrower in your face? I think it does. Okay, whatever. I think we're beyond that. I kind of want to just see who's got the most health and call it because this is getting really weird. Okay, he's almost dead. This one's got a little bit of life. Oh, this one's almost dead. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's see here. W okay, one and uh, HP multiplier 1789, 536. 5 million. 5 million. Okay. Whoa, this has got tons of health. Okay, that's gonna have 2 million. Okay. 2.4 million. Okay, so that one's probably gonna die to the mega one. So the mega, the mega catnap is probably gonna win. That's fine by me. <laughs> as long as it's not this stupid derpy one. Why is Poppy Playtime 3 so cursed? Let's find out. You've seen Killy Willy in his normal form, but you've never seen him in his final form. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this thing. He freaking turned it into a gigantic crazy dinosaur thing. I guess this is what would happen if you mutated Killy Willy to max levels. Let's see what, it oh, of course, of course. He just decimated half the Earth's population in one blast. This is on a whole different level. I don't know if I can actually use this because we're gonna battle them all against each other at the end And clearly this one's on a whole different level. Here we go. That's a little more like it. It's still absolutely Terrifying, but this is only his second form not the final form But still I mean it doesn't even look like Killy Willy. They just put eyes all over him Gave him like a weird little nab nab 
<laughs> chest is not his chest. That is not his chest, okay? And he's devastatingly good, just like the other one. Look, he's got the weird gangly fingers. Those are always delightful to see on a bright, shiny morning. Wake up to this fruit, you know, right outside your window. One of my favorite poppy. Oh my goodness, that's gotta hurt. One of my favorite characters is Boxy Boo, and you've seen him before. He's awesome, but you've never seen him like this. This is dirt, Boxy Boo. <laughs> oh no. Look at his hands. What the heck happened to him? It's got big old. Everything is like compact and stubby. Oh my. Why is his head doing that? That's just wrong. No. Does he eat something? Does he eat people? Can he get him? Oh, that is just. He's trying to eat that guy. Oh, he got him right by the face. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's gotta hurt. Yep. Dude, Dirt Boxy Boo is pretty brutal. He might, you know, I don't know. It's gonna be anybody's bet who wins the final battle. It could be Dirt. Can, I, I hope it's Dirt Boxy Boo. Anybody else, comment below if you, you'd love to see Dirt win it. Dude, Dirt Boxy Boo is super resilient. He's almost got them all. He's almost doing it. You got it, man. Come on. He's a, there's only a couple left. There's just people flinging all over on every body part, just flailing around. They are just bludgeoning him. Repeatedly, but it's not it doesn't matter. He's gonna he's pulling out. He's winning. He's gonna win. It's over GG It's not every day that you can see a herd of hippos a blubber of hippos fight off against huggy wuggies Phase three you might be asking yourself wait what huggy wuggy has a phase three Yeah, he's got four phases and the third one's probably the the most cursed of all here. It is <laughs> no, What the heck Look at these little legs down here. What is this piece coming up? Is that it? Those are arms or something and then look at this. He's got arms coming out of his mouth I don't even know how you think this up, but somebody did and it's beautiful. He's gonna. He's going on a date tonight. Huggy Huggy Wuggy's got a hot date with the next one, which is Kissy Missy, and she's just as derpy as this thing. <laughs> Wait till you see it. It's not gonna be good. Oh, he's got like a scorpion tail. Oh, dude, he just flung that off the edge. Man, oh man. Yeah, he's got a scorpion tail back here. Somehow the hippos have pushed Huggy Wuggy into the trees. They are pin. They've pinned him in. They're performing their classic blubber tactic where they get up on the legs and eat try to try to destroy him with their little pickle teeth. Uh, it's not working out too well. Dude, it is it's just he's just scorpion in them. Look at that. Oh yeah, I got another one flinging it off the edge. Look, he's literally throwing them off. He he is a, a very violent creature. Dude, were those eyes back here? Why does he have eyes on his butt? Is that his butt? Well, I don't know. Is that is this his butt or is this his butt or is that his butt? I don't know where his butt is. His butt somewhere. And why does he have eyes on his butt? I don't. That's the weirdest thing ever. Oh, he got him. Okay. Well, it's time for a uh, huggy wuggy to get ready for his hot date with Kissy Missy. Let's go check in on her. Oh my! Look, she's got her gold shoes on. Her nicest uh, purple jumpsuit. She's looking beautiful. And oh, she did her makeup even. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my gosh! <laughs> you can bling yourself out as much as you want with gold and gloves and boots and stuff, but nothing's helping that face. No way, not not happening. Here she goes. Look at her go. Look at her beautiful little strut. Ah, yeah, she can't even move her. She didn't even have a neck. There's no neck there. She's necklace. She, she's she's like uh, a block. She's got a block up there. She fused all her vertebrae together. Uh, so that way she can properly kiss Huggy Wuggy. And I don't exactly know what that's gonna look like, but I'm quite certain it'll look like Huggy Wuggy's trying to devour her. But then, uh, he's gonna get close and he's gonna get stuck on these little, ga you know, gaggly teeth over here. I don't know what you wanna call them, but they're, they, that is not how they're supposed to look. I think we're gonna just have to pull those, pull the teeth. Better yet, just, you know, keep walking in that direction, okay? Kissy Missy. Because, uh, there's no save in this, okay? Oh, she just punched that guy right in the face. Sorry. Oh, jeez. If you wanted to buy PJ Pugapillar from the dollar store, this is what it would look like. <laughs> it's like some Korean knockoff PJ Pugapillar over here. Look at this. Where's his eyes? Those are his eyes, the black things? 
And he's just a solid mass of blocks. He's got some nice little little tentacle legs here. <laughs> Seriously, this is dollar store. Look, it's not even done. They didn't even complete it. He's got a bare butt back here. It's looking weird. Anyway, that's the cursed PJ Pugapillar that I found, and he's delightful. Can't even move. Doesn't even move. He just drags himself along the ground, hoping for prey to just come closer. Dude, he can't even kill things. He's not even that strong. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure he's that guy. See, that guy's still alive back here. Doing <laughs> his little break dance moves. Uh, let's see, is this guy alive? Let's see him hop up. And yep, there he goes. <laughs> oh, jeez, okay. Oh, I think some of them maybe are. Yeah, some of them are actually going down. Well, dollar store knockoff PJ Pugabiller. We'll see how you do in the end. That's not looking too great for you. Okay, this next one is definitely cursed, but it's actually really awesome. And I'm kind of surprised I've never seen this before because it's an amazing build. This is, this is the squid version of Mommy Longlegs. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at that head. She's got like a squid, like, uh, what do you call those heads? You know, Nautilus heads. And look at this. Look at her, look at her little hands. There are little suction cup things all over this. Look at that. Look at that, the suction cups. Look at somebody, I mean, this is quite amazing. And then look back here. Look at that body thing. I mean, you know, you see what I'm saying? This is on a whole other level. She's freaking awesome. Like, she might be, you know, cursed, but I mean, this is like a a extra awesome, not just cursed. Like, she's freaking sweet. Man, she's terrifying too. She got a booster in her butt, I think. Yep, booster down here in, the, in her booty. Man, letting her fly around. Dude, did she just, she just eliminated all of them so quick. This guy's somehow still alive. Trying his hardest, nah, he's dead. There's another guy under there, hiding in the pine tree. Hiding in the pine bush, you got it, you got it, buddy. You can, dude, she's smacking him with her head. She means some serious business. He, how is he alive? Okay, there he goes. I was like, how is he alive in there? GG, man. You put up a good fight. Last but not least, probably the coolest catnap that you're going to find. This thing is on a whole other level. Look at this insanity. Look at that. Look at that. That's so good. Look at it walking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know who's going to win this final battle, but this thing's freaking sweet. There goes the Chica. She's going to get probably obliterated too because that guy he died instantly she's no better than him oh it's losing arms and stuff maybe it won't survive dude is it dude are they this thing's still attacking the little fingers are still going at him that's craziness get out of here we're not we're not interested in that we want to see a battle oh they're they are still trying to get him as best they can it's not gonna it's not it's not gonna be successful well we got to find out Who's the best? Now the moment you've been waiting for. What's well, probably going to be a dirt fest, but maybe it'll actually work out okay. I am choosing this as my unit that will win. Because she's freaking amazing looking. How could she lose? Anyway, we also have little Kelly Willy over here. Does he have a... Does he have a thing in there? No, he doesn't. Okay. We got a uh, huggy, huggy face. Three. Little kissy, missy action. Got the cat nap guy. We got dirt boo, dirt boxy boo over here. And then PJ Pugapillar dollar store version. I don't know who's going to win. They're all super cursed. <laughs> dirt, dude, I think dirt boxy boo might be my favorite. Dude, that thing went down immediately. Oh, no. Dude, is she actually op like beyond OP right now? If she just comes over here and takes him out one hit, it's she might be too overpowered. Oh, okay. Lasting a little bit. We got legs falling off and stuff. Huggy Wuggy, Kissy Missy trying to, you know, create a I don't know what their baby would be called. But they're 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 trying to you know, it's it's different with them. They just gotta touch hands and then they make babies. So that's what they're doing. And uh, oh they're oh they're all attacking they know who the one is. They know the strong one. Mommy long legs, they know who it is. Oh, she died. Ah, that is so disappointing. Who's going to win this? Is it going to be Huggy Wuggy? Well, I don't know. This is crazy. Hold up a second. Stop the battle. We have a DQ. Uh, 
Killy Willy over here has infinite health. You can't have it in the battle, so he's gone. We must redo this to see who will be the strongest when you don't have infinite health. Dude, she still died though. <laughs> Freaking Killy Willy over here is too OP. He just straight up destroyed her. Oh, that thing is gone. No, derp. Derp, run right away, derp. Oh, not that derp. Not derp boo. We need derp boo to win. Come on. Okay, we got these two Kissy Missy and Catnap going at them. Dude, Catnap can't even hit her. This is this might not be good for Catnap. One of his legs is falling off already. No, derp boo. <laughs> I look, I turn around and derp boo's gone. Why? Yo, why are you why are you floating in the air? The heck was that? Did you see that? Literally just floating on nothing. Can't even move. It's the strangest thing ever. They're attacking the leg still. The leg is dead. Is the leg not gone? There's no health on that leg. Uh oh. Giving Kissy the the death hug. Not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, there she goes. Oh, it turns out that. The abomination underneath is not quite what we expected from Kissy Missy. Oh no. It all comes down to this. Who will be victorious? Oh, so much time has gone by. We have to see who's what the health looks like. Whoever has the most wins. Okay, that's gonna be what it is. And you. Oh, look at that. Cute. Okay. Oh, what's this health at? 1.0 1.2 million and whoa 2.5 million somehow Killy Willy is stronger okay well there you have it who's a better fighter Killy Killy Willy hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching like comment subscribe who would actually win in this battle I think probably mommy long legs would win because in like in reality because she's got all the arms and she's crazy and stuff anyway thanks for watching see you next time